Okay, so I've called around the league to people I've known forever talking about job because I was so shocked by the IG Live, how brazen it was. And I had right. several people say to me, well, time out. Are you sure you guys on TV aren't giving him a pass here? Like you're not that? They're asking me, are you sure he's not that? Like he, he that's just who he is. <laughs>Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Around the Association. Now, John Morant allegedly has already checked himself in a rehab facility following an incident where the Memphis Grizzlies was on a road trip in Denver, and he was seen uh, in a strip club, you know, flashing a gun on IG Live. Not a smart move. Um, it's... Uh, He's already stated that, well, actually, he was suspended two games first, but he stated that um, he was also taking some time away from the team, and now it's being reported that he's checking himself in rehab, and he's caught a lot of flack. Now, Skip and Shannon on Undisputed on their show was talking about John Morant and some of his actions this is what uh, Skip and Shannon uh, had to say in regards to his reckless behavior. Okay, so I've called around the league to people I've known forever talking about job because I was so shocked by the IG Live, how brazen it was. And I had right. several people say to me, well, time out. Are you sure you guys on TV aren't giving him a pass here? Like you're not that? They're asking me, are you sure he's not that? Like, he, he, that's just who he is, that he is about that life. And remember, he's thrown up the crip sign. Several, I've seen him throw it up two or three times. I, I probably missed mm -hmm. some other times. Do, what does that mean? Does that mean he wants to associate with the Crips or he got initiated by the Crips or he just he, he has a dream of being a Crip? I, I don't know. I, I'm just throwing this out that are, are we missing the boat here that that's just who he's been from the start and we keep saying no you're just associating with the wrong people when he's actually part of the wrong people is that it, it, skip is that it, it, skip that 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 you know what skip you and the people that you talk to might be a hundred percent correct but that makes it even more egregious it, it does because you got out, you got out you of got that. out now that's Skip Bayless. Skip saying, basically, everyone's talking about, you know, John Morant's crowd, who he's around, the homeboys he's around, actually pulling him down. Uh, you know, he's a better person than that. But he's saying he talked to uh, some people, you know, that's around sports that came to him and was like, hey, you know, are you guys giving him a pass? Maybe that's just who he is. Maybe that's more of his character than even the player you see on the basketball court, which, you know, I would like to know. I wish he would have dropped names with who he actually spoke with, and if especially if it was anyone that that is of notoriety in the sports world. But what I can say is, okay, all the great things he's done on the basketball court and the things he does in the community, because Ja does – he put on for Memphis in lots of ways. He get, does give backs and all that. He made a, several mistakes over the past really month, month and a half or whatever. Like he's made some terrible, very public mistakes. And he definitely needs to be checked for that. But to say that his character is more of one of someone flashing guns on Instagram, well, <sighs> Anybody knows the NBA don't play. They do a background check. If you don't, look up that interview with Carmelo Anthony talking about how the NBA knew who his homeboys were, where, where they were slinging the dope, everything. Like, the NBA is feds. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So they are feds, point blank, period. They know everything. So this seems to be an outlier of Jaws true character. Yeah, he loves to turn up, he goes to clubs, he drinks, and that's probably why he's in rehab now in regards to the drinking. Now, Bootsy, little known as little Bootsy, 
Baton Rouge is on actually went in on Skip Bayless in regards to his comments about John Morant uh, kind of alluding to him in some gang culture, you know, because now he's being investigated, you know, even more so than just the Memphis Grizzlies, the NBA. Colorado uh, police now are investigating uh, John Morant's, uh, you know, gun incident. I mean, and why that's bad is we know how it goes. The local police get involved and they pass that information along to the higher ups, the big boys, the feds. And now your whole life, now something you might have been getting away with, you, you bring it more heat on the people you care about. You know what I'm saying? And that's that's the issue. But whenever you throw gang involved, and that's where Lil Boosie comes in and checks uh, Skip Bayless in regards to just throwing that out there like that. Now, Boosie says, stop at Skip Bayless. Don't build the narrative that he's a real gang member. Shaking my head. He not no crip. He a professional basketball player in all caps who made a mistake. Now, that wasn't all. Uh, a reporter born and raised in Memphis came up on the mean street of Memphis. Uh, he actually went on Skip Bayless as well, his name Doc Holliday. Take a listen here what he had to say directed towards Skip Bayless. Oh yeah, Skip Bayless, I wanna, uh, I wanna address what you said, man, associating John Morant uh, with, the, with the Crips gang members. That's so irresponsible for you to say. You want to sit up and make assumptions, man? I mean, I, I see people throwing hand signs all the time. Fraternities have hand signs. Masons have hand signs. You know how I know? Because I see a lot of you sports personalities and you media personalities throwing up y'all Masonic hand signs all the time. But for you to say, is Ja a Crip member for you to associate him with the gang? You don't know that. How as, a, how as a journalist, you're able to continue to say some of the dumbest, irresponsible, heartless, insensitive things and keep your job? Oh, I, I know why you get to keep your job. I bet if I said some things like that, they would fire me so fast. But I had to address that. You don't know Ja. You don't know his dad. You don't know his family. So for you to say something like that, I know plenty of organizations have hand signs. People throw hand signs. I joined Omega Psi Phi fraternity. This is our hand sign. You ever seen that? Other fraternal organizations and sororities have hand signs too. And as I say, there's a lot of masons in you all's uh, 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 business. That's how you all get to where you all are because y'all are part of them Masonic organizations. You know why? Because I see almost all of y'all throwing up those hand signs. That's how y'all get those jobs because y'all in those Masonic organizations. Do I need to call y'all out? Because I know the hand signs. So when people ask me how they get them jobs, they, they, they're part of those organizations, those secret societies. So for you to say that it's stupid, it's irresponsible, but that's what you do because you do not care. And apparently Fox Sports don't care what you say or what you do or who you offend. Now, they care about who you offend. It's a certain group of people you can defend and don't have any repercussions at all. Clown, clown behavior again, man. 